of the great controversies uh, facing clinical reproductive endocrine today uh, is the fact that not all embryos have just one genetic makeup. In the past, we felt that there was 46XX little girls, 46XY little boys, and that basically those were the two options to get to a healthy birth of, of, of course, a, a, a child that will help our patients expand their families in a happy way. Now we know that at times, embryos develop errors in some, but not all cells, where they might have an extra chromosome or a missing one that might limit or alter the development of the pregnancy but may not prevent it. And this has produced a great controversy, whether these embryos are safe and we should be um, uh, providing them and transfer to our patients or whether or not they should be excluded. Uh, as it turns out, the data we have today says that they can make healthy babies, but they are also at greatly increased risk for miscarriage and, and simply failing to implant. As such, the balance of evidence today says that these embryos can be transferred and at times must be transferred because they are the only option for our patients, but that they really, really represent the last option, that it is far better to produce uh, an embryo there that has the perfect uh, chromosomal complement, 46XX or 46XY, and when possible, we should use those embryos. It is only one to 2% of the time that we are confronted with a situation where all the patient has is this mosaic embryo, this mixed genetic complement. Uh, that goodness, it is very rare, and that our patients are rarely confronted with a final decision where they have to decide whether to use these embryos or not. In circumstances where it's possible to get more embryos, we genuinely prefer that. But sometimes that simply is not possible. And in those settings, it is possible to use mosaic embryos. I think this just represents another example of how we become more sophisticated and the tools, uh, many of which were developed inside uh, EVRMA, um, in fact provide us knowledge about the embryo that helps our patients make better decisions. They're not always easy decisions, but they are better decisions. They lead to healthier pregnancies and ultimately uh, to more uh, births of healthy children.